Hello, this is Joshua, November 5, Foxtrot Yankee. I've got my TX500 kit here that I'd like to go through and show you what all is inside. Um, essentially, we've got a complete station here. Take this one case out and play radio. Uh, you guessed it, the antenna is a long wire. We've got a battery in there, we've got headphones. We've got actually the capability to do CW, digital, or a single sideband. Um, something that I would maybe add to this pack is either a cell phone or an iPad. But let me show you what all we've got going on. So this is just an Amazon case, uh, Telesyn. Um, they've got two different versions. One is this that you see here, and then the other is like an expanded version. Um, that then gets a bit taller, offers a bit more space. Um, I, I prefer this one. So what I've got up here is my uh, my ham radio license, as well as some uh, CW. Um, I've got some fuses here for the radio. I've got a throw line here. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull all this stuff out. Uh, of course, I've got the TX500 radio. So I'll set that up to the side. And I've got a extra pencil in here, kind of a backup is what that is. So here I've got my logging book. Uh, which I've been using for a little while here. So logging, we've got a pencil. Um, I prefer pencil, I erase every once in a while. Um, so that's what I use that for. And then here we've got some RG316 coax. So I do sell this in my shop. Um, at some point, and maybe by the time this comes out, I'll offer with this red uh, coating on here. It just makes it a bit more visible in the field. So we got some coax and then I'm really just going to pull these out kind of as they're laying on top. Um, this is actually a, a spare set of headphones. And then I've got my main headphones here, um, which also have a microphone on them. Um, so I'll leave links for most of this stuff. I purchased these through Amazon, although you can buy them direct from uh, this company. I believe they're the Chimera Solo. Uh, but as you can see on, on this one right here, there is actually a uh, microphone on there. So I can run single sideband with, with this headset and it actually works really well. And then I'm using this with the adapter that came with the radio, which is your GX12 connector. And then you've got your microphone, uh, headphone, and then a push to talk button. Uh, I plan to rebuild one of those um, just cause the ones that come with that radio don't seem like they're the, the greatest. Um, for that same reason, I actually have another uh, headset adapter that I made um, so I can at least run CW with headphones uh, in case the other adapter goes bad. I've got a adapter for my key and let's go ahead and pull that out. So my key is a touch pressure sensitive uh, key and I forget the, the guy's call sign. Again I'll put a link for this one as well but um, Real simple, super small, packable. Uh, I also recommend N6 ARA Tiny Paddle. I actually normally have one of those in here as well. Um, I've got my Weaver throw line, which goes with the throw weight. I've got a coax jumper, which has a uh, built-in choke. So we've got uh, 25 plus dB of attenuation on common current going on the shield. So these are in the shop as well. Um, at some point, I'll probably switch over and, and make them optional with the red coating on them as well. And then we've got a battery. So this is my 3.5 amp hour battery. Super tiny, will run this radio for hours. Um, so I love having that extra power in there in a very small package. Um, right here, I have a USB cable, which I can use to charge my camera or I can use with an item that I failed to have inside my pouch. So I sell a, a LiPo charger um, that you can use a simple cell phone charger with. So that's the reason I keep that in this case. Um, and then I've got uh, another CMC common mode current that I left in there. I meant to take that out. Um, and then really for the remainder of the bulk of the kit, the most important pieces, what I also have is a linked NFET half wave. So half of this is for 20 meters, the other half is for 40 meters. So you can deploy just the 20 meter portion or the full length of wire to get on 40. And then at some point I'll probably break down that 40 and make that a 30 meter as well. Uh, so I'll have a bit more optionality with this antenna. 
Um, today I plan to get on 20 meters with a different radio, um, but what that means is I'll just deploy half of this wire and just leave the other half on it. So that's the antenna, and then of course the, the power cable for the radio. So that is more than necessary to get me on the air, but that gets me on the air with CW or with single sideband. And then what I also have in here is a digi rig. Um, I took it out of the aluminum case and put it into some uh, shrink tube, and then I remade my own smaller cables. So these are the cables necessary for the TX500. So one of them is audio, which is I think this one, and the other one is the serial connection for control of the radio to your computer, which in this case is a Raspberry Pi compute module. And I, I had a, a, a Raspberry Pi 4 for the longest time in a similar fashion with a little heat sink on it. And what I have in here is a buck converter. So I can plug this into 12 volts and it'll drop it down to the 5 volts necessary for the Raspberry Pi. And then I also put in a, a two USB port on here, soldered it back down and took off the original um, USB port that came on this expansion board for the compute module. So super teeny tiny package and this thing works really well for digital. So what I can then do is plug it in here, plug in my radio, plug in my battery and everything boots right up. And I know through testing I can run the Raspberry Pi with the TX500 doing digital work for um, just over four hours with a five amp hour. So a little bit less with this smaller battery, uh, but this will get me on the air without any trouble. Um, this is uh, just a um, I think it's, yeah, westmountainradio.com um, power node 4. So it's just an Anderson power pole uh, four-way splitter is all it is. So all of those things are common. Um, and then when you're running digital in the field, you need a good clock. And so in this case, I've got a, a USB a GPS that then goes with the Raspberry Pi. So full digital station with CW and SSB capabilities. The only thing that I would maybe add to this, if I wanted a bit more band agility, is a tuner and an NFED uh, random wire antenna. So one of my 9 to 1s, probably, typically I do a 41 foot. Um, that'll give me a lot of agility during the day. And then if I want something a bit longer, I can go with like a 58 or something like that for uh, getting down to 40 meters and, and 80 meters as well. Probably would go to like a 71 foot for 80 meters. But anyway, that's the, uh, the TX500 kit. Um, I'm also going to do a quick write-up uh, with just very brief discussion on what is in this kit. And then uh, I'll hand that over to uh, Thomas at um, QRPer.com, so K4SWL. He's got a great collection of uh, kits that people have been sending in. So you'll find this one there at some point. Um, but this is my go-to kit that actually travels with me uh, on the airplane. So whenever I travel out of state, I uh, catch a flight, uh, this is in my uh, carry-on bag, which is my, my backpack just sitting right over there. But um, this is still my, my favorite radio. Um, I really like this loadout, and it's, it's such a small, packable kit that it's tempting not to bring it with me everywhere. Um, I do have some new toys that I'm going to be playing with here real soon, um, but I think this is still going to be my, my go-to for, for a long time. So. Anyway, if you have questions, please reach out. You can find my email on QRZ. It's n5fy.ham at gmail.com. Um, check out my website at uh, n5fy.com or uh, tofton.com or tofton.us. You can get me in lots of different ways. But thanks for watching. I appreciate it. This is Joshua, November 5, Foxtrot Yankee, 7-3.